Hi there, my name is Daniel Goleman. You may know me as the author of Emotional Intelligence or Social Intelligence. I've written many books in this area, but I want to tell you about one I'm particularly pleased with. It's a new book called The Brain and Emotional Intelligence, New Insights. When I wrote uh, Emotional Intelligence, you know, it was in the 90s. When I wrote Social Intelligence, it was seven, eight years ago. But brain science, and those are really books about brain science, continues to unfold. And I've been tracking these areas of science since then, and I've been a little frustrated that I haven't had a way to share with my readers the latest findings. So, uh, working with my friends at More Than Sound Productions, I put together a book which updates my other books and gives you the latest findings in areas like the social brain, uh, how the brain matters for creativity, and how you can get into brain states that will help you be more creative, or how you can help yourself get into the flow state, that's the state of optimal performance. Some of the chapters in this book include managing stress, what we're learning about the uh, emotional brain and how it reacts to stress and how we can manage it better. Or the social brain online, the limits and promise of communication and collaboration uh, online, on email, and, uh, networking and so on, and the problem built into this technology which is that the social brain has no channel online and how to handle and manage the problems that arise from that. Then there are some questions like uh, empathy and the kinds of empathy, how to develop empathy, how each kind of empathy, cognitive, emotional, or empathic concern, matters for a very fruitful and full life. Then there's uh, the dark side of emotional intelligence, people like sociopaths who are manipulative and uh, what's going on in their brain and what we can do to help handle people like that in our own lives. Finally, there's developing emotional intelligence, what each of us can do to take stock of our strengths and limitations and find ways to get better, to be better empathizers, to be better in our relationships, to have higher self-awareness. And then there's something I'm quite passionate about. It's called social emotional learning. This is teaching kids these skills in school. I think that uh, of course, academics are important, they're crucial, they're necessary, they're not sufficient for someone to become a, a fully blossomed human being, to be a good citizen, a good husband, a good wife, a good worker, a good leader. That really takes emotional intelligence and we're finding these skills can be taught and they can be taught in a way that doesn't take time away from the academic curriculum, but in fact enhances it, makes students actually better learners, also makes them better behaved makes them more pro-social, more helpful. So social-emotional learning is a way to teach emotional intelligence to every child. I hope you'll find the Brain and Emotional Intelligence New Insights, a book that's helpful, practical, and inspiring.